My name is Lynn Nygaard and I'm based at PRIO, the Peace Research Institute Oslo in Norway. The main reasons I wrote Writing for Scholars was based on my experience as being a copy editor. Usually I was called in because somebody was writing English as a second language and they felt like they needed help with the language. So I would look at their work and try to work with the language, but it, I couldn't get very far before I started asking larger questions like, what is it you're actually trying to say? Uh, who's going to be reading this thing? And what's going to happen to it? Is this, is this a journal article? Is it a book chapter? I'm not even sure what this is. Even very simple grammatical changes, you, you can't really make them until you know a little bit more about what's happening. And so over the years I began to gather up these observations and these questions that I had as, a, as an editor and I put them together in a workshop. I started giving the workshop quite regularly and as I got more and more observations through the workshop, I put it together and, and made a book out of it for Writing for Scholars where I put together all of these things I have observed. In the second edition, I also brought in voices from other authors because the first edition was pretty much based entirely on my own experiences as, as an editor. But in the, in the revised version now, I've also brought in ideas from other writers as well on, on writing. The audience for Writing for Scholars is primarily younger scholars who are just starting to write for journals or publication um, based on their, on their own research. But it can also be used by more experienced scholars to hone their own work or even to help them structure the kind of advice that they want to give their students. Writing for Scholars is mainly targeted at new scholars who are publishing their work for the first time in journals. Writing for Scholars is written to be accessible and understandable for people who are doing this for the very first time and might find it intimidating. It tries to break it down step by step and, and see it as less threatening. Writing for Scholars is also useful for more mature scholars who have been writing for a long time but haven't really thought about what it is they actually do. Writing for Scholars put a, puts a lot of words on what they understand tacitly about their writing but haven't really thought about explicitly and how they go about doing it. A third group that might use Writing for Scholars are those more experienced scholars who are working with younger ones who are quite sure how to explain something they know how to do but haven't really tried to break it down step by step and explain to someone who's younger than they are.